Hey fam, it's uh, Philosophy Panther. Uh, good afternoon. Let's talk about Miley Cyrus, shall we? <laughs> I am absolutely disgusted with this little white girl. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm probably the only one. I'm sure I'm not, but I felt like it for a very long time that I was the only one who did not appreciate Miley Cyrus, Hannah Montana, whatever you want to call her. In any context, from Disney on to up, I just, I wasn't a fan. But, I didn't dislike her up until she started jumping into the culture for the fame. You don't know what's up, Miley, Miley Cyrus has officially said that she is done with hip-hop culture. She doesn't like it. She wants to distance herself from it. Oh, she does like Kendrick Lamar's Humble, since he talks about women in stretch marks. She says hip-hop culture is too misogynistic, and she can't stand it. You know, it's always about hopping on my cock, and ugh. black people shouldn't say cock. Every time I say the word, I feel like I'm going to throw up. <laughs> Hopping on my dick. Stuff like that. That's what that's what she's complaining about. It's too misogynistic. It downs women. Here we go. This is the sad thing. In the last of the last 10 years, she pretty much made her fame off enjoying the misogyny. She made a, what they classify as, let Cosmo tell it. Let anybody but anything black tell you. The legendary twerk video. <laughs> Y'all don't remember that. <clears throat> she was on live TV twerking what we thought, what she thought was an ass, but what we saw was uncooked chicken thighs slapping together <laughs> like a walrus. It just... It was disgusting. It was, it was, you know how everybody has their preferences and people, Scott, you shouldn't talk about that. You know, that's, that's down in women. No, no, no. She did it herself. Fuck that. So if you twerk and you throw yourself out there for me to visually see your goods, I have every right to say, I don't like what the shit looked like. It looked like uncooked chicken thighs. It was disgusting. <clears throat> So now she wants to go all Amy Schumer on us. You don't know who that is. It's a comedian who steals everybody else's jokes, specifically black men, a lot of black men's jokes, and turns them into her jokes. And then, um, you know, participates in misogyny, then talks about how misogynistic people are. She's gone Amy Schumer on us. How many of you guys out there actually enjoyed watching Miley Cyrus run amok through our our music and I go oh you know it's just hating on us and I'm not hating on nothing I hate the disrespect because she used she used all of the black women as props in all her videos she couldn't get a whole bunch of white girls to do that stuff because we went from the watch that shit and wouldn't have been down you couldn't show it to BET Awards or show it to you know, any major award show with all white women twerking that all look like her and then try to call it hip hop. It wouldn't have flew. Black sisters would have ripped that shit apart. And black women did rip her apart. So right now, she's making more fame now, making herself relevant by putting herself, distancing herself away from the garbage. She said it was a phase. I come across. I came across a lot of white girls throughout my my time who wanted to go through the black guy phase. You know, they're all married to white guys now and unhappily married because the sex is horrible, um, and their lifestyles are boring. But that that's neither here nor there. They got to make sure their families uh, still accept them, or they got to make up for dating us in the first place. Now, I, I I've dated everything under the rainbow. I mean, every shape, creed, color, man. I, I ooh, let me fix this. There we go. Every shape, creed, color you can think of. I did it. 
big girl, small girl, I did it. But I, and I have to say, unfortunately, the most displeasing time frames I had were with this one with the white girls and this one Indian girl. She she had to dunk my head under a pool so her dad wouldn't see me, so that he wouldn't kill her. The whole school saw it. I mean, everybody at that party saw it. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, I almost got arrested each, each time I was with a white girl. So it was kind of like, you know, I'm learning my lesson now. Now I'm saying all white girls act like that. And I don't care if you feel like I'm saying that. At, honestly, the fact of the matter is we're not a phase. All right. White girls, listen here. We are not a phase. You don't you don't get to come in and choose. Hey, well, I heard the rumor that was like 15 years ago, you know, 20 years ago, the rumor. Okay, yes, most of us are pretty slow. We, we, we hanging, we packing. Our sexual appetite is greater than most people on the planet. Our swagger is the pinnacle. Everybody wants what we do. And they take it. And we don't get paid for it. They take everything we do. And in this case, white girls have been doing the same thing for the last 15 years. And black boys, boys, not men, boys. Yeah, I know I'm actually, I don't care. Uh are just feeding into this. I, I remember hearing some black guys like, yo, I'd fuck my, Molly Cyrus. Yeah, we, we, people would probably fuck anybody rich. But if she was poor, side of the road, you smash and wouldn't tell nobody because it's sex. And boys will say whatever they can to boost up the ego of that girl. And I've seen it happen tons of times from high school all the way up until now. They will blow these white girls' heads up, a lot of brothers. Like they're this, that, and the third. They're better than black women. They're better than Hispanic women. Blah 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 blah. And this is why white girl, black girls, we going to get to all the weed to look like what you're glorifying. You glorified something like <laughs> fucking Hannah Montana. Are you fucking kidding me? Like she's not relevant, and she's trying. She she wasn't relevant. Started fucking black guys, smoking all the all everything under the sun, sniffing coke, doing. Showing her tits every, and, and, and whatever the beast thing she was showing. Just doing everything wild for attention. And now that, that kind of attention is like, because we get bored. We're black folk. We get bored. Something exciting. After a while, we keep seeing the same thing. We will teeter off of it. Now, she won't talk about her part in the misogyny. Her part in cultural appropriation. Her part and disrespecting black women and utilize, using black men for sexual reasons. She won't talk about all of that, but she'll talk about the same shit that we've been doing since the beginning of time. Like, saying a girl's a bitch is something that we've been doing in hip-hop. Other females say the same shit. I don't understand. Hello, uh, Young M.A. talking about she just wants somebody, some girl to deep throat her. That's a whole nother box to even think about. But she does it. It's hip hop culture. It's rap culture. So you can't say it's all the men talking dog shit about women when you got people like Young M.A. And you got plenty of female rappers who've gone the distance when it comes to sexuality and hip hop. So, no, you're distancing yourself from it because you got too deep into it. That's what happened. Now motherfuckers want to whoop your ass. You know what I'm saying? What's good, Miley? Yeah. I, I don't believe for a second that uh, Nikki is a fighter in the first place. I think she's soft as, as uh, cookie dough. Uh, but when you try to mimic what we do, mimic our culture, appropriate the culture, you got to follow through hard body too. You know what I'm saying? You can't sit up here and dab one day and then call us a nigga the next. And I believe that's what it was. She wanted to say and do whatever the fuck she wanted to do within the culture. She's been checked too many fucking times. And now she's mad because she can't do what she wants in the culture. So she's going to distance herself from it. I can guarantee you, you can look anywhere. I bet she's called plenty of people nigga. Like to their face. Hello? Dad's country music singer. Achy Break Your Heart. Y'all haven't heard of that? That's right. I haven't heard the song all the way through once either. In my whole entire life. And I'm 30. 31. Uh, but... Come on. I'm she just looks like nigga drops off her lips, her non-lips, her line, whatever the fuck you want to call that thing on her face. <laughs> it's just frustrating because I can see if someone like, you know, 
if Aaliyah was still alive or someone like Sierra, well, I can't even say Sierra. God dang, women in hip hop, I'm forgetting who they are now, but I can see if it was a black woman talking about the misogyny of black men. I'm cool with that. But you can't be as a white girl sit up here and talk about the misogyny of black men like we terrorize your lives every day. Affirmative action uh, was created for white women, not for black people. And if you haven't noticed, white men have been taking over all your health care benefits. So you can't sit here and dog black men in hip hop or black men in general as we're the problem, as if we're the problem for anything in music or in life at all. Molly Cyrus, take several seats. Sit your punk ass down. I, I don't understand it. I, <laughs> it's frustrating. It really is because I've seen this on a daily basis. Where a girl sees what black girl does. She's black boy because he's curious. She's curious about what black boy. What's what's the mysticism behind us? What's you know, this one time, this one white girl, she explained to me, and it was the most honest thing she had ever told me, and I thought it was cool, so I'm going to share it with you. She said, Scott, how, I overheard you say you were uh, 300 pounds. I said, yeah. She says, I, 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 it's hard to believe that. I said, why? She says, my cousin, here's my cousin. So, I mean, not a cousin, Lord Jesus. A, a friend of hers, I said, I don't know if a boyfriend or whatever. said, uh, this is, this is, he's 300 pounds. And I said, that's okay. The one thing I noticed about black men is that you guys hold yourself, even the ones with the big bellies, look sexually appealing still. Why is that? I said, I can't tell you, baby, because we walk in it every day. I'm this every day. I may not be sexually attracted to, uh, sexually attractive to every single black woman or every woman on the planet, but there's tons of women who find me sexually attractive appealing and it and it is because we're black that's that's the bottom line their swag the blackness is there the swagger it comes all it comes in one package what comes out of our minds and our mouths and our hearts is what seals the package together you know what i'm saying so uh, you look at this 300 pound white boy and you kind of look he look look like a bag of spoiled milk like somebody left cheese outside a little too long and it's not his fault you know it's just the way we're built and she goes, I can say I'm sexual. I'm more attracted to black men because of this, but I could never bring one home. I said, man, you can't participate in this thing and get mad if someone smash you and don't want nothing else from you. Then. That's the reality. And people don't talk about the sexual ills of black men. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants to do us because of the theory. And the theory has been since proven, disproven, whatever. And they still, because it's mysticism, because he's black, it's taboo still. It's this, that, and the third generation relationships have been doing it. I'm, I'm like a pioneer of that shit. But you can't jump into this, get what you want, and then dog us later. Call us niggas behind our backs and stuff like that. That's why I feel like Molly Cyrus is doing to the black community all together. Any of y'all that was following her during this mess and defending her while she was doing all this mess, all y'all bacarajo. You can all go to hell. All right? Black people, listen. I, I said this every video. If you can't do this every day, please try to do it at least once a week. If you can't do it once a week, please try to do it once a month. I want you to think, act, buy black, please. It is the most important thing you can do for black people, for you as black people in your entire life ever. If you can at least try to do that within those sequences, think, act, buy black. I love you guys. Uh, have a great day.